click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is the acidity of carboxylic acid and now we are going to talk about that is what is the effect of the substrate on the acidity of carboxylic acid. So now let us understand this in this lecture. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about the acidity of the carboxylic acid but in this case the substances that are being attached to the carboxylic acid even they play a vital role either they can increase the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid or they can decrease the acidic strength of carboxylic acid so this can be explained with the help of an example so there are two kind of groups that we know that is electron withdrawing groups and electron donating groups so what is the effect of this kind of substances or this kind of groups on the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid this is what i want to discuss about so in the previous lecture we have understood that is the carboxylate ion that is we can represent it as R C double bond O O minus along with that of we have also understood that is the hydrogen that moves along with the H2O in the form of H3O plus. So the more easier the H plus ion it will move away from the carboxylic acid and obviously we can understand that is the carboxylate ion is been produced. So if the carboxylate ion is basically very much stable then only it will remove its H plus ion very easily and that we can say that is the carboxylic acid which has produced the carboxylate ion along with that of the H plus ion that will be very much strong or in that case the acidic strength will be more. So for that what we have to do is we have to stabilize this carboxylate ion. So if this carboxylate ion is more stable then we can say that is the H plus ion will remove very easily. So for that as I have discussed earlier that is suppose if two kind of groups that is electron withdrawing and electron donating groups are being present and that are being attached to this carboxylate ion. So let us understand that what would be the effect of it. Suppose if we are considering about the carboxylate ion that is in this manner. Suppose I am representing. So here basically the negative charge it can come to this oxygen or it can come to this oxygen as I have mentioned earlier. So suppose if I am talking about electron withdrawing group. Suppose if electron withdrawing group is attached to this carboxyl group that has been present over here. So here we can understand that is the negative charge it will move towards the electron withdrawing group thereby stabilizing this carboxylate ion and thereby we can say that it will help in removing the H plus ion of the carboxylic acid. So thereby this kind of electron withdrawing group it will help to increase the strength or increase the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid. But meanwhile suppose if I talk about that is suppose if electron donating group is attached to the carboxyl group that is C here I am representing. So therefore electron donating group it will actually destabilize this carboxylate ion and thereby the H plus ion it will not remove very easily. So what we have to consider is if the electron withdrawing group like suppose if we talk about that is chlorine, fluorine or any electron withdrawing group it has been attached to the carboxyl group then we could say that that would be very much strong acid. So for that I have few examples so let me discuss about that also. Suppose if we consider the example like trichloroacetic acid that is nothing but that is CCl3 COOH and suppose if I consider that is acetic acid that is CH3 COOH. So it has been found that is as we understand that is there is no substrate to the this carboxylic acid. So that is the reason that the pK value it has been found to be that is 4.74 while this trichloroacetic acid has a pK value of 0.64. So it clearly indicates that this acetic acid or this trichloroacetic acid is more acidic compared to that of the acetic acid. So it also depends on the substituents. So in this case basically there are three chloro groups and this three chloro substituents are basically electron withdrawing group and that's the reason that it will stabilize the carboxylate ion and thereby help to remove the H plus ion. So more easily if the H plus ion it will remove then more acidic the molecule it will be and that is what more acidic the molecule will be so therefore this is more acidic compared with that of the normal acetic acid so let me talk about the another example also the substance that are been attached to this carboxylate group or this carboxyl group so it depends on the distance also so let me talk about the another information the acidic strength it also depends where the substance is been attached to so let me give you this information with the help of an example 
So if we consider these two examples, as we have understood that this Cl is nothing but an electron withdrawing group. So this electron withdrawing group is very much closer to this carboxyl group and that by the pK value of this is 2.86. While talking about this one, this has a pK value of 4.52. The reason behind that is this is more acidic because this electron withdrawing group is very much closer to this carboxyl group and that is how obviously it will help to remove this H plus ion very easily. But meanwhile this Cl or this chlorine atom is very much far away from this carboxyl group and thereby it will have an effect but it will not have an effect compared more compared to that of this one. So that's the reason that this is weaker acid compared to this one. So this was also that I wanted to mention about. So that is nothing but the effect of the substituents on the acidity or on the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.